learning about gardening, watching a plant grow stem by stem, just leaf by leaf. I find it so meaningful. It's, as they grow, these plants, they're, they're never the same, ever. Just think about it. And you have this little baby plant, and it's wanting to grow, and, and it needs love and caring. And you, you take that little plant, and you give it a home, and you plant it, and you water it, and then you let Mother Nature do the rest. And you know the best part? It's being outdoors. It's being outdoors is wonderful. All the fresh air and the vitamin D from the sun. It's so healthy, especially nowadays. Now, now we're, we're just all inside. <laughs> um, I mean, breathing recycled air all the time, just kind of like indoor plants. Hmm. I guess indoor plants, they're okay. They do make four walls a little bit more bearable and, and a little less lonely sometimes, but there's no earth indoors. And the plant depends completely on you. I mean, it's a big responsibility giving love and attention to a life that depends on you. And why? Because you put it in a pot. And the plant in the pot has many dangers, like overwatering. You might think you're being kind and giving, but maybe you even think you're being loving. But when you overwater a plant in a pot, you can hurt the plant because the roots rot and the roots rot in the pot because you didn't consider what the plant needs, only what you need. the question of sunlight. Will it get enough sunlight? Because you can't artificially give a plant sunlight. Instead, you must situate it so that it can get its own sunlight. Because every plant is capable of taking care of itself until you put it in a pot. If a life is at your mercy. But the flowers, I mean, the flowers are really beautiful. It's, I mean, layers and layers of color, but it is in the nature of flowers to wilt and go to seed. So if you want to keep seeing flowers, you have to deadhead them. The plant has only so much energy to give, and when you dead with the flowers, the plant has to keep giving its energy to produce more flowers to survive. And if it remains, you can't tell its root because, because you have to see its pretty flowers, and then your life is a little better. <laughs> Isn't it romantic, though? It's like humans in life, like potted, potted humans, with the dead-headed potted humans. Thank you. 